Hello, this is Bern. And if you find yourself in an emotional state of anxiety because the guy that you're with needs a break, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what you can do and how to go about it so that you get so much more of what you want going forward. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, heart centered, conscious and driven women, how you can create the relationship with your dreams, attract the kind of man that you want without manipulation, without gimmicks, as a result of you stepping into the most alive version of yourself. This happens so often that it merits a video. Imagine that you're with someone and the guy says, you know what, I need some time for myself. Now, there's a difference between personal space, personal time and a break. A break, the way I'm defining it right now, is where he's not sure he wants to be in the relationship with you, he's not sure he wants to be in a relationship with anyone, he's confused about what he wants in life, he's going through a midlife crisis of sorts, he found somebody else he's more interested in. Like, There's many reasons why a guy would want to create a break, but being tired, for example, having worked too hard, needing a weekend for himself, it's not the type of break that I'm talking about right now, that would be personal space, right? The only difference between a breakup and a break is the illusion that in some future, long or near, you might be getting back together again. But I, I want to dissect that. I want to make sure that you really understand that it's not very different from a breakup because if you understand that, the way you react, the way you step into it will differ. And what you do to get your life where it needs to be will differ versus waiting for him to wake up one day and see you. So I I'm going to divide this in different sections. The first one is the mindset. The mindset is one of curiosity versus resistance. The more you resist that he's doing this, the more you push back, the more you want to sell yourself to him that you're a great candidate for his life, that he's not going to do well without you, that he, that you're the best woman for him. The more you try to do that, the, the, more, the more he'll want to take that break. Why? Because if in any way he's feeling claustrophobic, if he's not sure what you want, the last thing you want to do is try to convince him that you're the best fit for him. What you want to do is you want to listen to what he's, where he's coming from. What is his reasoning? Why does he need a break? Because if you understand why he needs a break, then the way you're going to handle this is different. But once you get an understanding of why he needs a break, the next step is to allow him the space to do it. Now, you're going to set some boundaries, uh, don't get me wrong, and I'll go through those in a second, but you want to tell him that you love him enough to make sure to set him free. You want to set him free to do whatever he wants, and then there's going to be consequences, uh, mind you, uh, of that being set, being set free, depending upon what he does, but you want to make sure that he, he decides for himself what's the best course of action for his life. You want to make sure that he decides for himself if you're the best fit for him or not. Uh, and here's why. When you do that, when you tell them that you get curious, you may even say, you know what, I don't really appreciate this, I don't like this, this is not something that I recommend for the relationship, but uh, I love you enough to let you be who you want to be and, and do what you need, feel you need to do to get to a conclusion about what it is that you want. The, when you say this, that's going to start messing with his brain because the main thing he expects is for you to either uh, be really upset at him or push back in terms of saying, no, you can't do this. You're and just allow him to be, number one. Number two is I want you to set a strong set of boundaries. So here's the boundaries. And this is such an important step. If you do this one right, your probabilities of getting much more of what you want, whether it's him or somebody else, significantly increase. First boundary you're going to set is I want you to make the decision for yourself. But here's what I can't do. I can't be uh, an enabler of your indecision. So as you, make, as you take some time to define what you want, you and I are not going to be in contact whatsoever. We're not going to be texting each other. We're not going to be saying sweet nothings to each other. We're not going to be saying, how was your day? Like, if you really want to be on your own, you really want to break, it's a clean break and no contact with me. That's the first boundary. If you break this one, it's going to be much harder for him to understand the implications of his decisions. Why? Because if he's undecisive about you and he gets a clear cut of not seeing you, two things will happen. He'll either say, holy fuck, I messed up, I want to be with her, or my life is great without her, in which case you end up winning. Because why be with a guy who doesn't need to be with you or doesn't want to be with you, right? So that's the first boundary you're going to set. Second boundary you're going to set is you're going to tell him that you just reserve the right at any moment in time where you deem it's been 
significant. Uh, it's been it's been a it's been a good amount of, amount of time to start dating again. So uh, and that I mean uh, significant for you could be one day, it could be a month, it could be whatever you decide it is. And you're not gonna make the decision right then and there because you're not sure how you're gonna feel. But you're gonna take some time in your mind. You'll define what that is for you. And if in that specific time period he hasn't made up his mind. You're, you're free to start dating again. I mean, you're free to start dating from that moment, but you want to let him know, you want to be very clear with him that you're not going to give him a warning, basically, as to like, uh, you're going to do it whenever you feel it's necessary since he's having a break. Third thing you're going to say is, uh, and it regards, uh, it's regarding the no contact. There's only three situations in which he can contact you. Number one, he recognizes he made a mistake and he definitely wants back with a much stronger uh, stance than he had before. But basically, if it's a fuck yes for him, he can contact you back. If it's a fuck no for him, meaning like he decided he doesn't want to be with you, he, he's free to reach out to you if he wants to just to completely, clearly, unequivocally end it. Uh, third one would be if he wants to, if he has something to say that he needs to clear with you to figure out if this thing is possible. Meaning, uh, in, in, in direct terms, there's a new contract negotiation of sorts where he feels basically in thinking things through, I can only continue if these things change. And you want to give him the opportunity to say what those are, because maybe those are things that are necessary in the relationship. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to say yes, but at least you can listen to him if you want. So those are the only three times that he can contact you. So that's the second step. Third step, my dear, and this is super important, is I need you to up your vibe. I need you to define for yourself that you're not going to let someone who's unsure about you define your life. You're not going to let someone who's unclear if you're the best fit for him or not dictate your level of worth, your excitement. I know it's hard, but what I need you to do is to create the kind of life that is enviable. Create the kind of life that makes anyone outside of your life look in and say, wow, who is this woman? Uh, she's so full of energy, she's so full of aliveness, she's doing her thing, she's super excited. So that means dress up more if you want to dress up more. Do more, exercise more if you feel like it's gonna help you burn through the anxiety. Create more activities with your friends that allow you to step into your passion and your sense of aliveness. Uh, volunteer more if you feel like volunteering more. And at some point, something will happen. You will recognize, you know what? My life without him is not the same thing because human beings are not just replaceable like uh, objects. However, you can have an amazing life without him. You can have a life where you are the one who's shining, where should he, you bump into one of his friends and he sees you dressed up amazingly and, and you're not doing it for that reason. It so happens that at some point this, this will take place where you're driving, uh, a friend of his catches up with you, you look amazing and word might get back to him. You know what? She looks amazing. She looks happy. She looks radiant. She's, something's going on. Uh, or maybe he'll even bump into you and he'll see you doing amazing. You're not mopping the floor with your sadness. You're creating the kind of life that's enviable. When you do that, you have a significant more chance for this man to wake up from his sleep and reach back because you're not reaching into him. Now, it doesn't mean you have to take him back, but if there's ever a chance for him to get back with you, it's going to be higher when you're basically moving on with your life in a healthy, courageous, amazing way. The last step for this whole thing is you will know when it's time to move on. At a certain point, uh, if you're not necessarily, you don't want to wait any longer and figure out if this guy's going to wake up from his sleep, you're going to move on and he might reach back to you and it's too late. So you'll decide, I can't tell you what the time will be. For some women it's a week, for some women it's a month, for some women it's a day, for some women it's six months. Whatever you decide is the time for you, honor it and make sure that you're able to do the right thing for yourself, okay? So hope this is helpful and insightful for you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you, my dear, to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And when you do that, uh, there's a little bell you can hit that will notify you of new episodes so you never miss out on something new that can help your life. Um, third thing is on the description of this video, the first line of the description of this video, you're gonna find a link that allows you to sign up to a free masterclass that I'm hosting for you. You enter your name and email and it will show you how you can step into the most powerful relationship that you've ever been to in <laughs> without uh, so much pain and with more flow. And last but not least, if you feel like the videos are great but you want specific hand holding to go through this process, to get out of a relationship, to enter a new relationship, to create a better relationship, then uh, there's gonna be a second link on the description of this video that will allow you to apply for a conversation with me where we can find out where a good fit to, to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you 
to live a full and a conscious life.